Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about a brief and true report of the newfound land of Virginia written by Thomas Harriet. Um, now this work by Thomas Harriet um, is very interesting. Um, in this work Thomas Harriet is, is talking about his experience of leaving England um, and coming to the Americas um, and his experience with dealing with uh, the American Indians um, and how they were received by them and everything that pretty much happened, um, you know, what he noticed, what he observed. Um, in the report, it's, it's really, the whole thing is, is in a way condescending. He's comparing his home country with the uh, American Indians and the way they live. In the report, you know, he says things like, you know, they're not, they don't have the fortified cities. They don't, you know, know how to make guns or weapons. Uh, their weapons are all made out of wood. They know how to use the bow and arrow. He talks about their fighting skills and, um, you know, they use the bow and arrow. They shoot an arrow and then dive behind a tree. Um, so in this report, this this, um, this account of, of what he experienced, it's almost like he's like a secret agent, a person who leaves his home country, comes to this new land, and he's pretty much talking about uh, their fighting style, their living style. And in many ways, you know, if you're a country preparing to attack another country, I feel like it's the same way you would report back to home base about their defenses, their strengths, their weak weaknesses. And in this, uh, you know, this brief report, um, it, it feels like a spy that's just reporting back to, to home base about, you know, um, well, this will be a... a um, easy this is not going to be anything hard you know these people are not sophisticated they don't know how to make guns they marvel at our guns he says that they need religion they need god they need um you know they need um everything that um yeah, that we have um and, and you know if you know history if you're a person of history when you're looking at thomas harry's thomas harriet's uh, work you can see, like, you know, later, you know, missionaries will come and settlers will come. And, well, I mean, when you think about American history, um, you know, you had the Quakers and the Puritans. And uh, they did come to the New World and, and um, they brought Christianity and things like that. Um, so in, in saying, like, you know, they need God, they need religion. Um, well, he said that and a lot of explorers said that. And later that came to the Americas. Um, and that's why early America or, or, or the early Americas were very religious, very, um, um, you know, devout Christian groups of people. Um, in this report, um, Thomas Harriet goes to talk about their, the way that they live, the way that they go to war and how the villages would go to war with each other and fight with each other. Uh, mostly, he says they're like by surprise attacks. You know, one village attacks another when there's a dispute or things like that. Um, he talks about their houses, how they're not well fortified, how their fences are not anything. I mean, they're they're well enough for them, but in terms of comparing it back to England and his home, um, it's not the same thing. These are not cities. These are just, you know, villages, you know. Um, it's, he's not saying they're poorly constructed, but in, in comparison to his home base, it kind of sounds like he's saying they're poorly constructed. They're not anything that's going to be hard to take over. Um, you know, he, he judges their, their fighting style. They don't have a military. They don't, you know, they don't have um, the sophisticated things that we have, kind of. Um, he goes into what the natives or the American Indian thinks about them. Uh, there's several things that he says that they think about them. Um, he says that the Indians think that they're maybe they have powers or that their god is is super powerful, uh, because of course we know that diseases the 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 colonizers the explorers brought out of diseases to the Americas. Uh, everywhere that they went and after they they left, a lot of times the Indians would die of disease, and the Indians believed that the the explorers were were mad at them or their gods were taking revenge because they couldn't understand the diseases, they didn't know how to cure it. Um, their healers and, and medicine doctors didn't know what to do to heal them. You know their people, the Indians, when they had diseases. And people were just falling dead after these explorers or Thomas Harriet and his men and, and you know other explorers would come to their villages. Um, and so sometimes the Indians would, would ask them to pray for them um, or to 
to question or to ask their gods to, for help or, you know, to ask their god for help. Um, and, you know, Thomas Harriot talks about the, 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 the beliefs of the Indians and how they worship their own god and, and, and their belief about how the world began. The Indians believe that uh, there was a woman that just conceived and that's how the human race began. That's what Thomas Harriot says within his work, uh, within this brief report. Um, they believe in, in a paradise and a hell or a heaven and a hell. And, and, and of course, um, all ancient uh, uh, cultures um, have some type of belief about a good place and a bad place. You know, of course, the, the good people go to the good place and the bad people go to the bad place and, and some version of that. And the Indians have their own beliefs with, with different um, alterations of people, you know, being resurrected and things like that. Um and they have their own gods and, and how the Indians believe that in some way, shape or form that they are um, images of, of the God or, or the, the God. Um, so he goes into religion um, and quite specifically in, in this brief report. He talks about that. Um, he talks about their living conditions. He talks about the, you know, the way that they're dressed, their weapons. Um, and in terms of the way that they're dressed, uh, Thomas Harriet says that they pretty much, you know, wear clothes below the waist, but mostly they go around about naked. Um, um, so he, he paints a picture of them being sophisticated by their own means and being skilled by their own means. But when you compare it, when he compares it to England, it's, it's nothing overwhelming. It's nothing sophisticated. Um, it's almost like he's saying these people need, need education. They need help. They need religion. They're, they're, they think that we're kind of gods. They think that we're powerful. Uh, they think that, you know, our gods are killing their people because, you know, they might uh, be angry at them. Um, he says that they're kind of trustworthy and that they, they're somewhat obedient. Um, he goes into their customs um, and, and, and just how, um, well, the, you know, the Indians marvel at them. For example, um, uh, we know that the the a lot of explorers it was just men you know it was all mostly men the ships were filled with men um, you know um, most of the time you just had a full a ship filled with men one hundred percent men uh, and they would come across the ocean and a lot of times most of those men in certain ships wouldn't survive or entire ships would go down and all the men would die so being an explorer was not an easy job your life was on the line most of the time. And, and the men who survived when they got here, it was pretty much just men uh, in, in the parties that, that were exploring. And the Indians would, would think to themselves, well, where are the women? How do these men reproduce? How do they have, how do they have children? Um, and and the, Thomas Sheridan, in this brief report, he even says that, you know, they, the Indians were thinking like, uh, well, how come they're not even interested in our women? Maybe they're, 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 they're uh, over women or maybe they they just I don't know multiply um, um, you know they 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 thought about that because you just have a group of men that look different from you they don't have women they're not interested in your women and they seem to be just fine and so the Indians thought maybe these were um, Thomas Harris is, is writing this down he's saying this um, and he's saying that, you know, they thought that they had some type of power or some type of knowledge that they, the Indians didn't have. And um, the Indians kind of marveled at this and thought about this. Um, so um, um, Thomas Harriet, uh, um, you know, he writes about this. He writes about um, his dealings with the, the, the natives, um, how they came about um, and, you know, their religious belief their social beliefs, how they existed with one another. Um, and ultimately, what I get from this is, um, you know, this whole work in terms of deeper meaning here, in terms of uh, what's going on, I think the whole work, uh, it is a brief report talking about the people, the land, uh, the richness of the land, the different, um, uh, you know, f the different types of food and, and how prosperous the land is and things like that. He writes about all of that. But in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis here, one thing I would say is that um, this this work is very condescending and it's it's really looking down upon the Indians. And you could see why later um, Puritans and, and religious individuals would come to the to the, the Americas to 
um, you know, bring about religion and their own beliefs and, and bring settlers to conquer it. Because these reports from, um, you know, from people like Alvar Nunes, Cabeza de, de Cava, um, um, Alvar Nunes Cabeza de Vaca. Um, that's a very long name, but but from Cambiza de Vaca, that's another explorer, um, and Thomas Harriet, um, individuals like that, and also Christopher Columbus, um, they their writings pretty much depict the uh, Indians as they're sophisticated to a point, they have skills to a point, but they should they these are people that need religion, that need God, um, that um, that need help, and they wouldn't be too hard to conquer. Um, and you can see how these writings could influence or encourage more Europeans to come to the Americas uh, and take land and conquer and war for it because they kind of like picture or depict the Indians as um, fragile uh, people that are obedient and think that, well, the Europeans are angelic in some sense. Um, now, I would say that if it wasn't for the diseases, um, and in and, and, and the viruses that the Europeans would probably have not taken over the Americas because again there's a long travel um, by ship I'm uh, at sea uh, a lot of people died and it was a very rigorous trip if you make it through uh, you have to get here um, and then you would have to fight over um, it's estimated like two million Indians died uh, because of viruses and things like that uh, and I assume that if there were no viruses, if that was an, uh, an actuality uh, over uh, European colonization of the Americas, uh, that you probably would have had a different outcome because at some point the Indians might have united and, and fought back and, and maybe the, the, the Americas would have never become what it is today. Uh, but I think it's not because of European might and skill and weapons um, I, I, we do have to say the reason why the, the colonization happened is because of disease and virus, because the viruses and diseases pretty much wiped out the Indians, um, and it's not the guns. Because again, if we're thinking about, you know, um, during that time, um, the guns that the Europeans have, I mean, you're, 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 not, you're not holding an AK-47 um, in, in, in the um, 1600s and the 1500s. Uh, in the 1700s, you're not holding an AK-47. Um, you're not holding grenades and and, and and full metal jacket. You're not, you know, these are not, um, uh, you know, Rambo figures coming from Europe to take over the uh, the land of the Indians. Uh, it's more, you know, um, um, rifles and muskets and, and early, early guns that, you know, you weren't taking you're taking you know one person out at a time uh and the indians had bow and arrows now yes guns are better than bows and arrows but i i would say that it wouldn't be that easy if there were no diseases and viruses to help out the europeans um and so um yeah without the diseases there would be a different outcome and i don't think the europeans even knew that it was the diseases i, I don't think most of them knew that it was really the diseases that really helped them take over the americas uh, or at least the the early one the early europeans that, that that were explorers i don't think they even knew that it was their diseases that were killing the indians uh but but that's what you get from this work uh that uh, there's a lot of um, condescension uh thomas harriet saying you know uh these people uh, they're not that sophisticated they're sophisticated to the point to a point uh, but, you know, uh, they, they need some religion. Uh, you know, we could probably, he's not saying it out loud, but he's kind of like citing that, well, we're, we're much better. We're, we're, mu we're much more sophisticated uh, to take over this land. Um, and, and, you know, they're kind of simple people. Um, but, but that's his writing. Uh, that's his journey to the Americas. Uh, this, this, this brief report really talks about the land, the people, the, the nature of their, their living, their belief systems, uh, and, and ultimately um, um, what he overall thinks about them. Uh, but that's all I had to say about Thomas Harriet in his brief report. Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.